today is my birthday. I am turning 20. Yay! Okay, so in three days I moved to France and I have like a 16 hour plane journey in front of me. So this week I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to bring onto the plane. I'm terrified of flying, so I tried to prepare myself as much as possible. Some of them are kind of weird and interesting, so here we go! So first things first, what I'm wearing on the plane. Obviously this is a very important thing because you need to look good at all times even when you're 8 million feet in the air. The first thing I'm going to wear is this shirt. I got it from Urban Outfitters, I think on sale and it's the best purchase ever. This lace is just adorable and it's really comfy which is perfect for the plane. On the bottom, I'm going to be wearing these high-waisted shorts, which I also got from Urban Outfitters. They're basically like jegging shorts, so they don't dig into me, they don't leave imprints or anything. So that'll be nice to have on the plane when I'm trying to sleep and I can breathe. The next thing that I'm going to be wearing is thanks to my fantastic roommate, Eve. She bought me this sweater for my birthday, and it is a Weasley sweater. Like seriously, Mrs. Weasley knitted this. It says Hazel, or H for Hazel, or Hogwarts, or Harry, or Hermione, or Hagrid, Hedwig, Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this sweater is great and it's gonna be really warm and cozy for the plane and I can snuggle up and go to sleep and everyone's gonna know that I love Harry Potter, which is so true, and I'll probably be listening to Harry Potter while I'm all snuggled up and looking awesome, so yay for Harry Potter! And I'm going to be wearing tights so that I'm nice and warm and cozy, and that is it for my outfit. The next thing that is very self-explanatory is my wallet, and I really hope that I don't lose this because it has a lot of extremely important things in it. I have my American passport and my English passport, and I am bad enough with keeping track of one passport, now I have to keep track of two, and hopefully I don't lose either. And that all goes well. I already told you how much I despise flying, and I'm such an anxious person when it comes to flying and just life in general. So I'm going to bring Rescue Remedy. It's made of flowers and it will really calm me down when I'm freaking out that one, I am just said goodbye to my family for a year, and two, I'm on a big flying machine of death. So. Yay, Rescue Remedy. So the next two things are for moisturizing purposes. I am going to bring Verbena Luxury Hand Cream that I got at the Ruddy Duck, which is where I work. It's fantastic. That'll be really nice to have on the plane when my hands get really dry. The next thing is Rosebud Solve Lip Balm. My lip balm is now all melted to one side, but hopefully that fixes itself. Smells really good. <laughs> It's nice and rosy-ish. I can put it around my nose because my nose gets so dry and then I can't breathe properly and it hurts and I can't sleep and... Oh, I hate planes. All the stuff that I just showed you is going to be in my handbag. And the next part is in my roll-on suitcase, which is going to be my bag of entertainment. The first thing that's going to be in there are socks. Really long socks. My feet get really cold and it's just nice to be extra warm in general on the plane because... I hate planes. The next thing is going to be my book. This book is called A Beautiful Blue Death by Charles Finch, and it looks really interesting. It's a murder mystery. Hopefully I get into it so that can entertain me for at least a solid like five hours of my 800 hour plane journey. So the next thing, which is a big source of entertainment, is my laptop. And I am going to bring this because I have a seven hour layover in Arizona. and. Yeah, so I'm going to have to entertain myself, I'm going to try and watch movies, and I don't know, write a book? We'll see. I wanted to bring an extra sweater just in case because, like I said, I tend to get really cold on the plane and I hate being cold. I, I also hate planes. I don't know if I told you that, but I hate planes. It is this sweater, which is awesome. It has this great bunny on it. And it's just a really nice, thin, loose sweater, and it's just a nice little layer. I love at the end of a plane journey, like a half an hour left, to go into the bathroom and to wash my face and brush my teeth and just sort of cleanse myself as much as possible so that by the time I get off the plane, I'm a little bit more refreshed, I'm a little more awake, and it's kind of nicer for my family so that when they hug me, they don't recoil in disgust at how horrendous I look and how bad I smell. So. That's always nice. The first thing I have is deodorant. This is always nice to have because it's good to smell nice. The second thing is a Clinique face bar. 
It's like soap, but for your face. It's so nice to wash your face on the plane. It makes the biggest difference. You just walk out of the bathroom like, ah, oh, yay. After you wash your face, you have to put face lotion on, especially when you're like 25,000 feet in the air. So I definitely put this on afterwards and that just helps with how dry your skin is and it's always good to put lotion on after you wash your face anyway, so. That's that. So because I am a child, the next thing I'm going to be bringing is a pad of paper and some markers! Hopefully I can play tic-tac-toe with the gorgeous guy that happens to be sitting next to me, obviously. Or, I don't know, draw myself purple. Who knows? You know, who knows what can happen 25,000 feet in the air. The next thing is my creepy bag of drugs. It is Advil and papaya enzymes. Hopefully I don't get arrested because they think I'm trying to smuggle meth or something ridiculous, but it's just papaya enzymes and Advil, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully I don't even have to use them. We'll see. And finally, this is probably the weirdest thing that I bring on a plane, but it's definitely the most logical, and it is my hot water bottle. I don't know if any of you guys have never heard of these before, but they're basically rubber bladders that you fill with hot water and then you can sleep with them and they're really warm and amazing. It keeps me so warm and relaxed and cozy and it's easier to go to sleep when you have something warm to cuddle up to and it is a genius idea and I seriously recommend you all bring one, especially with cupcakes on the top because that's great. So hopefully you guys liked what I'm going to bring on the plane. Hopefully it entertains me and helps me from freaking out and hyperventilating and crying and all those horrendous things that probably will happen anyway, but maybe they'll prevent them for a little while. I cannot believe that I'm leaving in three days. It's an absolute insane concept to grasp and I'm really not looking forward to saying goodbye to my family and my house and America in general. But I cannot wait to show all of you England and France and my apartment and all the fun things I'm going to be experiencing. So buckle your seatbelts guys, it's gonna be a wild ride! Yeah. Next time I talk to you, I will be in England! So I hope you guys have a great week, wish me luck with mine, and I will see you in England! Bye! Got my lip balm. I had a tin from England and then, oh my god, that's fantastic. Ugh. So I can lather up as much as possible. That's really awkward. I shouldn't say that. Verbena luxury, luxury, lug, hmm. <clears throat> okay, uh oh, don't stop.